this is it. High school is permanently done so. Seriously, bro, who knew senior year would go by so quickly? If only our Bev High days could last forever. But like, they still can. Don't be so sure about that. spy missions. It won't be the same. With us going to college and Clover going to the Fashion Academy of Do's and Don'ts, we're certain to drift apart. Um, speaking of drifting apart, where's Clover? Clover! Clover, I'm in here. And I can't find the outfit I bought for graduation anywhere. I must have packed it by accident. Why not wear something else? After all, you do have the largest wardrobe rotation in school. Yeah, it's not like anyone will know what you're wearing anyway. It'll be under your cap and gown. Hello? No. And as a future student of FAD, I bear a certain amount of stylistic responsibility. Now get over here and help me look. Whoa! Since when do we get ocean breezes inside the house? Something tells me this storm is of the unnatural variety. And I have a feeling its name is Hurricane Jerry. Whoa! Whoa! This is crazy! How can Jerry be sending us on a mission on graduation day? Actually, today's mission belongs to me. It seems I've got to get you ladies to graduation on time. On time? But we aren't even running late. Yeah, it's only 7.50. Graduation isn't till 11. According to Whoop's GPS system, it's 10.50, which means graduation is in precisely 10 minutes. How's that possible? Oh, see, my bad. Alex, what did you do? I set the clocks in the house back three hours so we could stay up later last night and spend more time together. Only I kind of forgot I did it. No, oh, my. <laughs> With killer rags like these, we are sure to be the best dressed grads at Bev High. <laughs> yeah, so tight. So, where are you going to land the jet, Jer? I'm afraid there's no time for that. You girls will have to jump. <gasps> jump? But I'm wearing pumps. And I'm wearing not to worry, your gowns are actually high-tech whoop parachutes. A simple tug of your tassels will deploy them. Uh, I'll meet you at graduation as soon as I can. Cheerio! like that. Yeah, even for the homecoming king. Don't worry, I've got it covered. Because there isn't going to be any graduation. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Oh. As your prestigious valedictorian, let me be the first to say goodbye and good riddance. <gasps> That's right. From now on, you'll have to find someone else to do your homework and wear your kick-me signs, because old Arnold is moving up and moving out. Not if I have anything to say about it. Graduation. 
vacation just a dream? <laughs> I must still be dreaming. Otherwise, why would I be in my jammies at school? Unfortunately, I think we're wide awake. Which means whatever's going on, it's way weird. Morning, blings. <laughs> Chet here with a few announcements. There's a new scrapbooking club on campus called The Best Years of Our Lives. See me for the sign-up sheet. On Friday night, there'll be a prom reenactment held in the gym. Don't forget to vote for yours truly for prom king. Again! <laughs> Finally, all classes are hereby canceled. Now please join me for a rousing pep rally in the quad! Okay, what's wrong with this picture? You mean the part where Chet appears to have taken over the school? Or the part where he started a scrapbooking club? <laughs> Either way, it's disturbing. Which is why we're gonna get to the bottom of it ASAP. Come on! <laughs> hey, where'd all the underclassmen go? Maybe they took the day off, along with the faculty and staff. We can figure that out in a second. <gasps> right now, I need to stop in my locker for a quick wardrobe change. <gasps> <gasps> Forget about a dream! This is a total nightmare! Give me an e. uh, what's that? What does it spell? Sounds like the Beverly Bling fight song! That's it! PJs or no PJs, it's time to get some answers! <laughs> nice ensemble, fashion failure! Only you would show up to a group abduction dress so pathetically! <laughs> More like fashion forward. Of course, I wouldn't expect a fad reject like yourself to know PJs are the hot new trend for fall. Uh. Uh, girls, I think we have bigger things to worry about than clothes. Give me a B! Give me an E! Give me a B! What does it spell? Bam! <laughs> Go Blings! I hope you're all as excited as I am to be here, because this year is going to be the best uh, high school's over, Chet. We're supposed to be graduating. High school is never over at the new Beverly High. It lasts forever. Forever? Huh. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the Bev High reproduction I've created for all of us to live in. Now the best years of our lives can last a lifetime. Forget it. There's no way I'm going through high school again. Now out of my way. <laughs> Oopsie, don't want to do that. <gasps> you see, the new Bev High is fortified with an impenetrable security fence. And if anyone else tries to escape, they'll be forced to work in the school kitchen. Have fun! I'll be in the gym setting up for tonight's prom if anyone needs me. Okay, it's official. Chet's completely gone off the deep end. Talk about not being able to move on. It's like he wants to relive his glory days over and over again. Maybe that's not such a bad idea. If we stayed in Chet's freaky fake high school, then we wouldn't have to separate from each other. <laughs> Aw, as nice as that sounds, Alex, we can't stay. Sammy's right. We need to call Jer for a rescue pronto. Apparently, the new Bev High is out of my service zone. In that case, we'll just have to capture Chet and force him to let us go. How are we gonna do that? I mean, just because the guy's a dumb jock doesn't mean he's stupid. Simple. We're gonna use some bait to distract him. Bait? <laughs> Forget it, Sammy. I'm not asking Mandy for anything. Clover's right. Besides, there's no way she'll ever agree to help us. Trust me. Remind me again why I agreed to help you losers and risk being relegated to kitchen duty? Because if we don't get out of here, we'll have to spend an eternity together. Well, what are we standing around for, people? Let's do this! Oh, my! I must have fallen asleep. I guess the girls are right. I am getting old. Want to sign my yearbook? There's an open spot right next to the last place you signed. Sure thing, Mandy. Okay, girls. Time to show Chet who really rules this school. <gasps> hey, what do you think you're doing? It's showing you our school spirit with a little impromptu volleyball game. Hope you don't mind being the ball. <laughs> it's going to take more than the three of you to take me down. Or have you forgotten I'm also captain of the Bev High wrestling team? Hmm. 
in the Bev High kitchen. Happy cooking with your new recruits. Hey, Chad, good buddy. Now that you have these girls to work in your kitchen, how about letting your old Bev High chum out of here, huh? <laughs> not a chance. <laughs> and I like my meatloaf well done, but not too dry. I can't believe it. Things have gone from way bad to way worse. Tell me about it. This kitchen is the pits. Who's talking about the kitchen? I'm talking about Chet making me wear this nasty polyester lunch lady outfit. Forget about your fashion crisis, Clover. We need to find a way out of here. It's no use. I've looked everywhere. There's no escape. Mm. Hey, this fridge isn't even real. It's made out of cardboard. So is the stove. Ouch. Whoa! Even the grapefruit is fake fruit. I mean, hello, low budget batty much. The weird thing is, for a fake kitchen, it's really hot in here. Well, you know what they say. If you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. <laughs> Looks like this leads to the roof. Come on! <gasps> hey, wait for me! Apparently, he didn't realize his Invisi Shield would cause a mega greenhouse effect in here. If we don't get our fellow grads out soon, there won't be anyone oh. left to graduate. We better hit it before Chet finds out we escaped. Hold it right there, girls! What? Are you kidding? This guy's more stalkery than Cheer! Hey, girls! Wait up! I'm stuck! Sorry, Arnold! Gotta run! We'll come back for you later! <laughs> I think we lost him. <gasps> oh, yeah? Well, you better tell Chet, because I don't think he got the memo. Not another step, Beth High haters! <laughs> Jerry. Hello? Jerry, it's us. You're not gonna believe what just happened. We were kidnapped by Chet, the football captain, and taken to a fake Beverly High with the rest of our graduating class. Then we were locked in a fake kitchen with fake fruit, but we escaped through a vent in the ceiling. And then we dug our way under our freaking floor shield and totally thrashed our manies. Oh my, everyone's parents must be worried sick. I'm on my way. <laughs> Spy Uni is like being reunited with an old friend. Autopilot engaged. Here are a few more old friends along with one new one. The Kazooka. A kazoo with a powerful bazooka function. Oh. The molecular separating perfume and the infrared motion detector heat sensor sunglasses. Thanks, Jer. Uh, speaking of heat sensing, can you use the jet's climate detector to take a temperature reading inside the dome? One temp reading coming right up. 130 degrees! 
That's like being inside a tanning booth in the valley. Precisely why you need to get back down there and save everyone promptly. Come on, spies. Let's blitz the QB. <laughs> Molecular separating perfume totally rolls. <laughs> but as a perfume, it totally reeks. Whew, this heat is brutal. No doubt. It reminds me of the time the AC in my convertible broke down and I had to roll down the windows to cool off. Only, there's no windows to roll down here. Exactly why we have to find the source of the dome's power and shut it down. I'm on it! It's under the fountain! Come on! <laughs> This is all your fault! If you losers had rebelled and made Chet angry, he wouldn't have turned our posh prison into a heinous heat trap! Our fault? As if! Have you totally forgotten how you sold us out? Oh, uh, Clover, save it for later. We've got work to do. Okay, everybody, out of the fountain! What are you waiting for? <laughs> Not very subtle, Sammy. But definitely effective. I'm glad you girls came back. Now I can discipline you properly. Oh, great. Here comes the one-man homecoming committee again. Time to show this class clown that school is officially out. <laughs> Enjoying a ride, ladies? Yeah, it's a real blast. But why should we have all the fun? No! Nice going, Clover! You saved our skins! Literally! Hey! There's the kazooka! Let's round up Jet and get back to the real Bev High. <gasps> okay, now I know where Chet's budget went. Than Chet. I'm not through with you girls. I'm going to build a better school and a better float with armor plated roses, and then you'll see. Ah! Ah. Hey, Jer, you got room for one more? I'll see what I can do. Now, shouldn't you girls be getting back to more important things like graduation? <laughs> this is it. The last time we'll ever be in school together. Isn't there some way we can make it last a little longer? Uh, guys, I was thinking. 
thinking. What if we drop our plans for school and go to college here instead? You know, together at the University of Malibu. Works for me. Count me in. <laughs> Splendid idea. See what I mean? He can be so stalkery. Now that that's settled, I just wanted you to know that Chet's attitude is being adjusted by Whoop agents, and he'll be eligible for graduation next year. As for your other classmates, we've erased any memories of their traumatic abduction. Thanks, dear. Yeah. We graduated, Allie. You here we come. <laughs> moment to reflect on the life-changing journey you are about to embark on. <clears throat> the seeds of knowledge that you plant today have the potential to yield a great harvest in years to come. And as the fruits of your labors nourish the body and soul Planting the seeds of collegiate success? Is he serious? I don't know, but I want football games and fun parties. Not boring farm metaphors. I'm with ya! I can last one out of the Jets around Meg! Boutique Mall and a private Luau Beach. Not to mention the cutting edge internet cafe and a seriously convenient mini tram system. <gasps> there it is, girls! West Coast Hall, our new home sweet home. Then our tour is officially over. Uh, better make that tour a detour. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope we make as strong an impression at school as we did on this roof. <laughs> Well, this is it. Super Pod Treat 525. Woo Who wants to go in first? For maximum drama, let's all enter on three. One, two, three! Oh. <sighs> Whoa! Who knew our drama was going to turn out to be a tragedy? That doesn't even begin to describe it. Like, where's the stylish three-person digs we were promised? I don't know, but this place oh. reminds me of the Whoop holding facility. Yeah, only not quite as glamorous. Uh, guys, glamour is the least of what's missing from this place. Where's all my stuff? It's in here, Sam! Hi, I'm Stacy, your new roomie! What? what? You be Sam's roommate. We're her best friends. And, like, we're all supposed to be rooming together. Oh, sorry, but there's a huge housing crunch on campus. So 
Sam's stuff was put in my room. And from what I've seen, I think we're gonna get along great. You unpacked my things? Yeah, and judging by all the books I found, I'm convinced we have a ton in common. You see, Sam, I'm an academic just like you. <laughs> wow, Sammy. I wish my roommate was that helpful. Oh, please. You'd need about ten helpful roommates to unpack all your stuff, Clover. What do you say I give you a campus tour? I'm a sophomore and I know all the shortcuts and hidden passages. Uh, sounds great, Stacy. but we still have to sign up for classes. I'll catch you later. <laughs> How come I'm the one stuck with the nosy roommate? She's not nosy, Sam. Just eager. Besides, we've gotten out of tight spots before. We can totally handle a temporary housing sitch. And in the meantime, we'll be right across the hall if you need us. <gasps> Check it out! I got the last seat in Psychology 101. It's like the academic version of a dating service. Oh, and I got into intro to basket weaving. I can finally get in touch with my artistic side. And I got into all of my advanced courses, including quantum macro physics. Uh, Sam, doesn't that class start in two minutes? Uh, you're right. students, let's begin with a rudimentary question. What is the name of the attractive force which acts between two close parallel uncharged conducting plates? Uh, Ling. Uh, Ling Gi. Apparently, Ms. Gi doesn't get the concept of mandatory attendance. Okay, then, uh, how about, uh, Stacy? <gasps> it's called, um... It's called... It's called the Casimir effect, due to quantum vacuum fluctuations of the electromagnetic field. Very good, uh, Samantha. Looks like someone did her homework. Thanks a lot, Sam. You did that just to make me look bad. No, I didn't. I was trying to help. Well, I don't need your help. In fact, I don't ever want to talk to you again. <laughs> the first to wax my board. Welcome to Surfology 101. Today we're going to learn about the anatomy of a wave. So, does this like mean we aren't going in the water? Well, not until we learn the basics. I don't want basics. I want fun, sun, and good times 101. Just like those promised in the Malu course catalog. In that case, why don't you show me an atomic roll into the green room, followed by a nose walk and a triple cutback. Oh, uh, on second thought? The basics sound totally tubular. Chop, chop. You're being graded on this. <laughs> the secret to successful basket weaving students is to become one with your creation. Now close your eyes and let yourself get completely enveloped in your work. Completely enveloped. Got it. Huh? That's a little too enveloped. Oopsie. Phew, college is so exhausting. Maybe I ought to stop by the internet cafe for a brain fueling latte. Oh, somebody help me! Guess my latte will have to wait. <laughs> wearing <gasps> Sammy what are you doing yeah what's with the freaky ninja greeting I was just chasing down a co-ed napping baddie but whoever it was got away and I think Stacy was behind the attack Stacy that's crazy yeah she's like super nice nice like Dr. Jekyll but trust me based on the way she acted today in class she is way more Miss Hyde uh. 
Look, Sammy, I realize Stacy may not be the ideal roommate, but don't you think your accusations are a bit far-fetched? As in, you may be having difficulty adjusting to new people. I mean, think about it. Anyone could have dropped the scrunchie. In fact, it could be one of mine. <sighs> Fine, don't believe me. But I know there is something strange going on. And I'm gonna figure out exactly what it is. which means it's officially spy time. <laughs> Bingo. A list of Mally U's top five incoming freshmen, starting with Moon B. Hey, that's the missing student from my physics class. Uranium. Okay, that definitely qualifies as strange. Hey, Rumi, how's it going? Fine, I guess. Well, I am awesome on account of the A-plus I just got on my bit lip paper. So, do you want to join me in a celebratory study sesh? Um, maybe later. I was just about to take a shower. <laughs> Even if Clover and Alex don't believe me, I have to call Jerry. This is getting way weird. And it just got even weirder! Great! In addition to having a defective roommate, I also have defective plumbing. Whoa! I knew Stacy was up to something, but I never could have guessed she'd do anything this bizarre! Show me what you know. she is? Probably goofing off like all the other students at Mally who take basket weaving and surfology classes. Oh. <gasps> hey! Those classes are a lot harder than you think! <gasps> hey! Where'd you get that scrunchie? It's mine! Uh, ah! Rude much? Sam was right about Stacy. She's a total nightmare. I have a really bad feeling about this. We better call Jerry right away! <gasps> Hello, girls. Just checking to see if any of my words of wisdom have guided you in your academic endeavors. Uh, no, Jer, not even slightly. But if you oh. really want to help, you can whoop us right away. Oh, very well. Jeez, all that wisdom, and you still haven't figured out how to soften our whoop landings, Jer. So, what seems to be the problem? Books, speakers, boys? Who has time for boy problems? Sam's missing, and we think her evil roommate has something to do with it. I see. Well, Sam may be missing, but her ex powder isn't. Is that cute little blip on the screen Sammy? Indeed. And it appears she's located in the basement of your dorm. What would Sam be doing in the basement? Probably hiding from that heinous roommate of hers. Whatever Sam's engaged in, it's wreaking havoc on her <laughs> physiological systems. Her brain is functioning at a dangerously slow rate. How can you possibly know that, Jerry? All X powders are equipped with a capacity to monitor the owner's biofunction. Hello? Is there a single aspect of our lives you're not totally trespassing on? Mm, actually, no. 
Come on, Cher. Lay some gadgets on it so we can go help Sam. Huh? <laughs> Whoa! Old school much. What happened to Gladys? Let's just say her bossy ways landed her an extended vacation at the Whoop Recycling Facility. Now, here's the hot and spicy gum, the drill heel boot, and the ultra-fast hardening enamel toenail polish. Ooh! Glittery aqua blue! A classic. Ta-ta! And good luck, spies! Ah! Oh, I swacked my chair again! I think that door leads to the basement. Come on! Wait. We better take a less obvious route. After all, you never know where that loon Stacy might be lurking. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love these boots, but they should really come with a feather duster. <gasps> what is that thing? Oh, it's Sam! Are you okay? Sammy, say something! Now we know what you're meant by slow brain function. We have to get her out of here before it's too late. Uh, yeah. Ow! Sorry, freshman, but I can't let you do that. Figures you're the one behind all this. Why? Because such an elaborate plan involving sophisticated machinery could only be the work of a genius like myself? No, because Sam warned us that you were one seriously wacky chick. <laughs> Weekly facial. Now it's time for us to give you a little treatment. And I don't mean the small kind. <laughs> Not if my mechanical friend has anything to say about it. Uh, how, how come you brought us over here instead of plugging us into your machine? Let's just say it's pretty obvious that neither of you two can help elevate my GPA. So I decided to drop you from the Malibu roster. Alright, we've known you for like less than a day, and that's about the tenth time you've insulted us. It's getting really old. You won't have to worry about it much longer. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I need to continue my search for superior minds. Later, losers! <laughs> Get our hands on a gadget! Any gadget! Hey! I got one! With a hot and spicy gum! Okay, let me rephrase. Any gadget except that one. The last thing we need to do is turn the heat up any higher. <laughs> Might as well enjoy it. It's probably the last piece of gum I'll ever get to chew. Claire! The gum worked! I sweated my way to freedom! Cool! I mean, hot! Now sweat your way over here and spring me before I'm toast! Come on! We better catch Stacy before she hijacks all of Sam's smarts! <laughs> Where do all the smart people hang out? The library, of course! Good math with poor science skills. <gasps> now that's what I'm talking about, the total academic package. <laughs> Where could she have gone? It's not like it's easy to blend in riding that machine. If these missions have taught me anything, that whenever you're in doubt, follow the screams. Emeritus of Pro Magnum Man's dental hygiene habits. Talk about a major egghead. Oh well, you never know when you might need a specialist. <laughs> you two again. Maybe I underestimated you after all. You better believe you did, Great Rubber. You're just jealous because I'm naturally gifted and you're not. Hey! Uh, reality check. There's nothing remotely natural about where your smarts come from. <laughs>
hard way. <sighs> Ladies, you'll be pleased to know that everyone's brains have been restored to their prior states. Minus the memories of what happened here, of course. Oh, that's a relief. I mean, who ever heard of going to college and getting dumber? So, Sam, now that you're back to being the smarty pants we all know and love, how about helping me with my homework? Uh, no thanks. <gasps> my newly recharged brain cells need a little R&R. &R. It's just as well. No amount of tutoring can keep me from being an embarrassment in surfing class. Oh, tell me about it. I'm known as the basket case of basket weaving. Who knew college was so complicated? Speaking of complicated, we still haven't solved our housing crisis. Well, we better do it fast, because I'm getting claustrophobic just thinking about that tiny dorm room. Kooky roommates and cramped living spaces will no longer be a concern for you girls. I've arranged for the three of you to live together in the penthouse of your dorm. Penthouse? Since when does West Coast Hall have a penthouse? since the Woo Prop Department built one last night. Come on, let's take a tour, shall we? Check out this killer buff boy watching Ocean View! Oh, this place has everything our beach house had and more! But the best feature is what it doesn't have. Nutso roommates. Yeah! So, I take it this living arrangement is to your liking? <laughs> to our liking? More like to our loving! Thanks, dear. You're very welcome. <clears throat> From here, you'll be able to plant the seeds of knowledge. Jerry, no more agricultural advice. Give it a rest. Just leave before we have to call the RA. Another quiet night in the world of high-tech security. Not a bad entrance for a spy reject. Hey! Hold it right there! Abort mission. Abort! Do we have a killer new pad? But thanks to our totally relaxed schedules, we also have a ton of freedom. So, what should we do first? Hit the beach, cruise the mini mall, take in a freaky student art flick? I vote for all of the above, right after we check out our new mailbox. Hello, ladies. How are you today? Oh, ah! We were fine, dear, until you scared the heck out of us. What in the world what? are you doing in there? Ah, uh, yes. I'm here to collect this month's payment for room and board. Room and board? What are you talking about? I'm talking about your penthouse suite. You didn't think you were staying there for free, did you? Well, yeah. We thought it was like a totally cool whoop perk. I'm afraid your perky days are over, girls. You have until the end of the week to pay up. After all, that's the way it works in the real world. Cheerio. Whoa. Who knew college living came with such a hefty price tag? I hate to say it, but I think we're going to have to get part-time... No! Don't say the G word. <laughs> Alex is right, Clover. Unless we want to give up our roomy room, it's goodbye freedom. Hello? Uh, jobs. Sam, where's the register? Alex, swap the tables. Clover, grab the beans. Any questions? Yeah. Like, when do we get paid? Ah. 
But when you actually do some work, now get to it! Hello, bossy taskmaster much. Look on the bright side. At least we get all the free drinks we want. Yeah, I'm sure our new jobs won't be that bad. I'll have a mini huh? chocolate latte with a pizza infusion, and I want it like pronto. Mini? Yeah, what are good lizards doing here? Yeah, we all transferred to Malu so we could stay BFFs. But the bigger question is, why are you here? Weren't you supposed to go to some lame ski school in Aspen? She like totally changed her mind when she found out she could hang with yours truly. <laughs> what? what? Say hello to my cousin Mindy. I like that two goat milk lattes, losers. <gasps> okay, now that's what I call seriously disturbing. I don't know about you guys, but suddenly I'm not feeling so good. Sorry, birds, but we're gonna have to leave work early. Leave? But it's your first day! Exactly why we should never exert ourselves. See you tomorrow! Later, Lamos! <sighs> Just when we thought our Mandy days were behind us, now we've got to deal with two of her? And, like, the second one has a totally annoying accent. <sighs> if only we could do some spying and get our minds off all this campus chaos! <gasps> hey, check it out! It's a new course called Espionage 101! No way! A class that actually teaches you how to spy? Well, considering we're actual spies, maybe we should sign up and get an easy A. Yeah! Let's do it! Huh. I wonder why the class is being held in such a strange location. I'm sure it's just a gimmick. You know, to give it a more authentic spy feel. Well, it's totally working. The hairs on my neck are in full-on porcupine mode. <gasps> Maybe our easy A won't be so easy after all. On account, it looks like our prof didn't show. Perhaps you might want to recheck your facts, spy wannabe. <laughs> Welcome to Espionage 101. I'm Professor Fremont, world-renowned secret agent. Now, prepare for your first lesson. <gasps> Excellent apprehension. If I didn't know better, I'd say you three were old hats in the world of espionage. Uh, to us? <laughs> Please. We don't even wear hats. <laughs> yeah, we're like total espionage newbies. Still, I think you'd be the perfect team for a little class exercise I have planned. Um, what kind of exercise? We'll be recreating a famous spy event from the past. Are you in? Wow, that sure is a fancy schmancy recreation, Professor. Here, Mally, you tuition dollars, hard at work. Now let's begin, shall we? Twenty years ago, in an event dubbed Operation Vulture, a double agent breached security at a compound similar to this one and stole a lethal weapon without being detected, which is why this is considered the most impressive undercover job ever executed. So, where do we fit in? You'll play the infiltrators and attempt to retrieve the weapon. Though I doubt you'll be as successful as the real spy was. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Okay, girls, time to ace this assignment. Well, let's start with a little workout. Talk about realistic. The prop sure didn't miss any details in his recreation. Freeze! Look! He even hired actors to play security guards! Really good actors, too! But not good enough! Come on! Oh, the old dangling drain pipe routine! Get them every time! Now all we gotta do is slip inside! The fakey weapon must be in that crate! But how do we get it past those fakey guards? I've got an idea! Clover, you up for a little wardrobe change? Kidding? I was born ready. Careful! Professor Fremont is watching us, remember? Right. Guess we're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. Here goes nothing! <laughs> Professor F's really gonna have to step up the effort on his recreations. Tell me about it. We barely 
Hmm. Now that's what I call an A-plus effort. Aren't you guys so amped that we nailed that mission last night? Oh, totally! Missions are, like, way fun when there's no pressure. Only, wasn't it kind of weird that Fremont seemed so happy when we gave him the crate? Like he really believed there was something valuable inside. Well, he was probably just stoked to have three students like us in his class. Stop what you're doing and put your hands in the air! <laughs> Rude much? Jer said we had to the end of the week to pay up! Um, Clover? Something tells me those aren't wolf agents. <gasps> You're right, Sam! Let's fold! Not so fast, ladies. Who are you? And what do you want with us? I'm Mr. Franklin, Dean of Students. These government agents are placing you under arrest for stealing the Inflatus Project. The what? What is what? Don't play dim with me, girly. Now, where's the weapon? Honestly, we don't know what you're talking about. Unless you're talking about that crate we gave Professor Fremont last night. Professor Ooh. Fremont, our Espionage 101 teacher. There's no such professor or <gasps> course at this university. Now, cop him. <sighs> but, 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 but you have to believe us. We're telling the truth. Believe this. You three are officially finished at Mally U. Finished? But we just got here. What's all the commotion? We're like trying to meditate and stuff. Hey, what gives? The fashion police finally catch up to you, losers. <laughs> Oh, I got dibs on that super sweet dorm room. No doubt. I am completely stressing out about all of this. Oh, tell me about it. The thought of Mandy and her little crony trying to weasel their way into our fab new digs makes me want to hurl. Actually, Clover, I think she was talking about us getting arrested for stealing. And the worst part is, we didn't even do it. Ah, the more I think about it, the more I'm starting to think that maybe we did. <laughs> Sam! Reality check. We were doing a recreation, as in designer imposter mission much. Or maybe this was all just an elaborate setup to get us to steal a real weapon for a fake professor. Good point. I mean, why would a world-renowned secret agent be teaching a class at Mally U? And if he's so renowned... Why haven't we heard of him before? Because we got duped, which is why we need to call Jerry ASAP. Girls, where are you? You're late for work. The floor needs sweeping, the scones need baking, the foam needs frothing. Um, hi, Virgil. We're like, uh, really sick, and, um, <coughs> we can't make it to work today. What? Can't make it to work? It's only your second day on the job. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the doctor will be here any second. Gotta go. Wow, I hope he's not too mad. Virgil seemed pretty hyper. We can worry about that later. Right now, we'd better dial Whoop. Hello, spies. Ready to wire me the rent money? Forget about that, Jerry. We're in big trouble. Oh, my. Big trouble in the big house. Don't move, girls. I'll be there in a flash. Don't move? Where does he think we're gonna go? No! <laughs> <laughs> wow, you weren't kidding when you said you'd be here in a flash, Jer. <laughs> Finally, the tool to help me carry out my revenge. Now for a little test. <laughs> There's no Professor Fremont at this university. And we were all like, uh, yeah, there is. And he was all like, cuff him. You're coming with us. That's utterly remarkable. That's not all that's remarkable. According to Whoop Records, Operation Vulture never existed. So we were actually just doing Operation Sam Clover Alex? It would appear so. Hmm. You'd better check this Fremont character's background. Looks like our world-renowned spy is really a spy reject. Seems like no one wanted him to be on their team. He was turned down by every respected spy agency in the world. Guess the F in Professor F stands for failure. So now the question is, what exactly did Fremont have a steal? The Inflatus Project. Dean Franklin mentioned that. So what does this Inflatus thingy inflate? Anything it wants. It was designed as a top secret weapon with the capacity to expand objects of any mass to hundreds of times their natural size. 
Well, now we know it was in the crate, but what would Fremont want with a weapon like that? My guess? He's planning on inflating his seriously sagging ego. <gasps> earthquake! That was no earthquake. Our terrestrial whoop sensors have detected that the planet has just expanded by 2%. Which means Fremont's using the device we stole to enlarge the planet! Awesome! Does that mean the beaches just got 2% bigger? Trust me, Clover, this is not a good thing. I've located the origin of the disturbance, Malibu University. Then we better get over there before he pops Earth like a balloon. You'll need some gadgets. Take the self-propelling exploding ink pen, the ever-expanding bubble gum, and the keys to the Whoop jet, which is equipped with Aquati suits. Sweet! The jet is for official business only, as in no joyrides to Paris. Good luck! <laughs> Our Fwadis, we didn't even get our hair wet. Fwadis? Oh, sheesh, I was just kidding. Look! The Inflatus machine Jerry showed us! And just as we thought, Fremont gave it a test run. No wonder you were so adept at yesterday's mission. My top spy students are real spies. You never told us you had a PhD in phony. Maybe you should change the name of your class to Lying 101. Or better yet, why don't you take a nice long sabbatical in the Whoop prison? And abandon my revenge mission to expand the Earth until it explodes? No chance. So you're willing to destroy yourself in order to get revenge? Negative. I'll be carrying out my plan from the safety of the ultra-high-tech spaceship I've built. Um... <gasps> Spaceship? More like scrap ship. So if you're not a professor or a spy and you're definitely not a space engineer, what exactly can you do? <laughs> Acquire your assets. Steal our jet? You know, I would not get on Jerry's bad side if I were you. He's annoying enough when you're on his good side. Don't worry, Mr. Underachiever's plan will never get that far. <laughs> Rookie, class is still in session. <laughs> How dare you turn a cute sea creature against us? Let us out now! You'll be out of your misery soon enough. If the effects of my device don't get you first, the rising tide will. Over and out. What do we do? We can barely move inside this shell. Which makes me wonder how clams don't totally get claustrophobic. I have my hand on the ever-expanding bubblegum. Clover, open your mouth. Okay, ew. This gum tastes disgusting. Like liver or cheese. Whoa, guess Jer invented a new flavor that only he would like. Clover, there's no time to waste. Grossy flavor or not, you gotta keep chewing. And besides, I'm sure Jerry has some high-powered whoop toothpaste that'll get rid of your bad breath. Eventually. Fine! But Jerry owes me a new toothbrush. <laughs> Come on, girls, let's get this finger! Well, don't 
overwhelmed, because I've got just the gadget to stop that beam. The self-propelling exploding ink pen. Oh, can't say I didn't see that one coming. Let me try my penmanship. Agent's gonna sabotage my mission. Time for a little spy versus spy. Oh no! The Afflatus is inflating again! And it's headed this way! I've got an idea that'll shut Fremont down for good! Follow me! We're going to fight back with Donuts? Exactly! <laughs> Jet was vulnerable to a donut. Jer better work on that. <laughs> Excellent work, girls. Now that we've managed to deflate the planet, we should promptly return this device to its rightful owners. We'll take it back, Jer. Since the Dean booted us from school, we have plenty of time on our hands. You'll be pleased to know that I've already smoothed things over with your Dean, <gasps> and you can return to Malayu immediately. Awesome! <laughs> Whoop, I smoothed over. Why do I think you mean Whoop erased his memory? Um, uh, no comment. Uh, but I will say that Whoop has officially erased the rent on your penthouse. Consider it my gift to you. Thank you. You're awesome! <gasps> that reminds me. We better get back to Mally you and make sure Mandy and Mindy haven't taken it over. Get ready for some butt kicking, girls. Because we're not giving up our posh pad without a fight. <gasps> Phew. Looks like we got all worked up over nothing. Don't worry, Verge. We're here now, and we're ready to work. Oh, I'm not worried. In fact, I've already found replacements for you. Mm-hmm. Ah! Gross! Did you lizards have a get-out-of-jail-free card or something? I can't believe you freaks messed up such an awesome job! Free drinks rule! <laughs> Sorry, but even if this gig kind of stinks, it's ours! Here, Virgil. We got you a little present. Little? This is the biggest bean I've ever seen! You three are officially rehired! Oh, in that case, later, Lemo. <laughs> again open for business. Looks like it's time to finish the job. Okay, Grandma. Time to go to your new maximum security home. The kind you'll never leave. <laughs> Trust me, Sam, a tan co-ed is a happy co-ed. Oh, and a co-ed who doesn't fail for semester is an ecstatic co-ed. Whatever, I'm 
so not worried. You're looking at the master of the last minute study sesh. Hello? Can't you like see I'm doing some important cramming on my tan lines here? Oh, I mean, hi there. I'm Clover. What's your major? The name's Blaine, captain of the Maliu Beach volleyball team. Hey! So, Blaine, what do you like to do for fun when you're not hitting the sand? Coach says if I spend half as much time practicing as I do on shoe shopping, <laughs> hanging at coffee cafes, and watching romantic comedies, I'd probably go pro someday. Coach, I think you sound perfect. Oh, I, I mean, perfectly well-rounded. You know, with a lot of interesting <laughs> interests. Hmm, I should really get back to practice, but would it be okay if I, you know, got your number? <gasps> what? Call me! <laughs> Whoa, that was way weird. Yeah, it was like being in a parallel universe with a male clover. A total hottie who likes everything I do. I can hardly believe it myself. In fact, I can't think of one thing that could spoil our soon-to-be relationship. to think there's some evil conspiracy to prevent me from getting a tan. No conspiracy, Clover. Just a highly treacherous mission. You three are to escort an extremely dangerous criminal from Whoop's containment facility to our highest security penitentiary. If the criminal is so dangerous, why didn't you just put them in the penitentiary in the first place? Um, with the recent deluge of criminal masterminds, Whoop has been experiencing a little overcrowding as of late. Yeah, I may have an important date tonight, and I'd like to be around to enjoy it. Spies, meet the granny. <laughs> That's the dangerous criminal mastermind? <laughs> What's she guilty of? Keeping her world-famous <laughs> cupcake recipe secret. Hmm. Aw, she totally reminds me of my own granny. I should give Nana a call. I miss her. Don't let looks fool you. The granny was one of the most notorious and ruthless bank robbers of her generation. Keyword being was. For your mission, you'll need the ultra-inflatable nylon tech vests, jet backpacks, oh. infrared motion detector sunglasses, and the pressure inversion snow spray. It's like hairspray, only much colder. No! <laughs> I doubt we need all this fancy stuff, Jer. After all, the granny is in her 80s. Sam's right. If we can't outrun a woman in big padded shoes, we should just give up now. I assure you, the granny is very cunning, so please be extra cautious. Your new vehicle should help. Awesome! It has a titanium shell for protection against baddies and a hover feature for quick getaways. Not to mention shock absorbers for perfect lip gloss application no matter what the road conditions. A girl's gotta have her priorities. I'll drive. Shotgun! <laughs> Hey, I know that smell anywhere. Crispy on the outside, soft and chewy in the middle. If cinnamon's your fave, have a snicker diddle. Ugh. Cut! Ouch! What did you do that for, Sammy? Didn't your mother teach you to never take a snicker diddle from a stranger? Relax, sweetie. They were baked with love in Whoop's containment facility. The only thing I was able to sneak in was real butter. Real butter? <laughs> If I had your beauty and metabolism, dear, I'd eat an entire container every day. You must have all the boys after you. Not all the boys. <laughs> Just most. Remember, girls, Jer warned us not to fall for her totally transparent act. And you're obviously the brains of the group. With intelligence and insight like that, you must outsmart all the criminals. <laughs> well, not all the criminals, just most. Now, who's ready for a cookie? Mm. Mm. It's like a little taste of butter-infused heaven. Mm. 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 Oh my gosh, that is so good! Cha, they totally melt in your mouth! So, what do you say we get this show on the road? You don't want to keep the nice folks at Whoop waiting. According to my ex-powder, the high-security whoop pin should be coming up.
up on the right. Nippon, Otto, and Presto. Just a little something to remember me by. What's it for? Why, it's a cozy for your ex powder, dear. Oh, how did you know purple is my fave color? Call it a grandmother's intuition. Can I have another snickerdoodle? Oh, dear. Now you've got crumbs all over that cute suit of yours. Restraints chafing you? No, dear, just my stiff joints flaring up again. Would you mind loosening them just a smidge? Hmm. I guess a smidge couldn't hurt. <laughs> it's not like you're going anywhere, right? And miss all this girl talk? I haven't had this much fun in years. <laughs> <laughs> Jer and fess up to our mistake. <sighs> Where are you girls? The Whoop Penitentiary is still awaiting your arrival. Listen, Jer, um, we have something we need to tell you. The granny kind of overpowered us with her knitting needles and then took off in the Whoop vehicle. Oh, my. I was afraid something like this might happen. I warned you, the granny is extremely cunning. Oh. Don't worry, Jer. We're on that baddie like Clover at a 50% off shoe sale. Good, because she'll be up to her old bank robbing tricks the first chance she gets. Let's just hope these tracks hold up. Why bother with tracks when you can follow the vehicle's tracking system instead? Great thinking, Clover. Now let's hit it. <laughs> Clover, where are you? It sounds like you're in some kind of wind tunnel. That's just my new, um, uh, windy ringtone you like. How can it be your new ringtone when we're already on the phone? Well, uh, what I meant to say is that I'm in the, um, Maliu Skydiving Club. <laughs> Adrenaline's such a rush. Guess you're too busy to grab a coffee then? Not a chance. See you at the Maliu Cafe at three. Ooh, girls, I think I'm in love. <laughs> I missed that hills until just now. Oh, the new winter line's just in. A quick peruse couldn't hurt. Okay, first we nab the granny, then you can shop till you drop. Come out with your snicker diddles up. Wow, that old gal can really move. I just hope I'm in as good shape at her age. Fitting we're in a dead end alley, because we are so dead when Jer gets wind of this. Bingo. Okay, you're not gonna believe this, but it looks like the granny scaled that wall. They say power yoga can keep you young well into your 80s. <gasps> the Sunny Lane Retirement Home? What would a notorious bank robber be doing here? Only one way to find out. I'm with ya. After we put on disguises, of course. <laughs> That's a good look for you. <laughs> yeah, laugh all you want, but Jer totally owes me an aromatherapy facial for this. <laughs> so, which of you lovely ladies would care to play around the bridge? <laughs> That's you two. I can guarantee he's not talking to me. We're north and south, and they're east and west. So, who wants to cut the deck? But we don't even know how to play. <laughs> Sorry, but I think you've just been trumped. <laughs> Not so fast, Granny. <laughs> I'll accept what you think, Siri. <laughs> don't worry. Thanks to the shoe's excessive padding, it doesn't hurt a bit. Oh, yeah? Well, how about this? <laughs> Oh. 
Jerry's gonna be when he finds out the granny outsmarted us twice! If she outsmarted us, then how come she left behind a clue? Check it out, girls. All these bills are made out to Papa. Papa? Hardly seems like a baddie's name. Well, he served 15 years for one of the most notorious bank heists in British history. So Papa and the granny were a bank robbing super team? More like a super trio. Just like us. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, but there's been another escape from a state-run minimum security prison. The escapee is also in her 80s. That must be the other woman from the photo. <gasps> the granny's rounding up her former gang. And my guess is they're planning something ginormous. Thanks, Al. That totally narrows it down. I'm afraid it is a bit vague. Until we have more to go on, you three should return to school. Awesome. Now I'll totally be on time for my date with Blaine. <laughs> Glad I could help. They say the right clothes can make you look years younger. Yeah, about 60 years younger. Oh no! My ex powder has gone all frenzy! No, no! I take this anywhere else but here! Clover? Is that you? Hey there, Blaine! Oh, is that a vanilla no foam soy latte? <laughs> when you said let's meet for coffee, I had no idea we were supposed to dress up. Oh, this. <laughs> I can explain. I'm uh, trying out for the lead in a play. The way weird odd couple. <laughs> cool. I didn't know you liked the theater. <laughs> Neither did I. 30 years ago today, a team of notorious bank robbers targeted this very bank. But their efforts were thwarted by law enforcement. All that's ancient history, though, as the Third Street Bank is once again open for business. Hmm. <gasps> is it me, or is the Granny's plan suddenly not so vague anymore? Yeah. Looks like she and her posse have some unfinished business with the Third Street Bank. Sorry to interrupt, but we've got a jet. You know how Granny hates to wait. Sorry to drink a dash, Blaine. Promise to make it up to you. I totally understand, Clover. You've got to visit your Granny. We'll do something tomorrow. <laughs> Girls, now I know I am in love. Thank you. Hi there. What can I do for you today? Actually, theory. How about we see what I can do instead? Come on. This is a stick up. Back in the hour, I can see him. What's the matter, Sonny? You having trouble believing an old lady can rob a bank? <laughs> Bread. 
see me go! <laughs> what are you gonna do? Pay me to let her go? No, I was thinking of making you pay! <laughs> Agent on speed dial? Wow! Old people really do hate the cold. Great thinking under pressure, Sammy! <laughs> Low pressure, that is. Nice work on the octogenarian spies. Hmm. Uh, that's a fancy word for old. Oh, never mind. I'm gonna miss that <gasps> sweet smile, not to mention that incredible hair. What's your secret? Ha! As if I'd fall for your sweet old lady talk again. <laughs> Bye! Whoa! This place is totally sweet. It almost makes me want to rob a bank. What? I said almost. Well, we can always come for a visit. When do we visit baddies in our spare time? Uh, since I tasted Granny's snickerdoodles. <laughs> Guess installing that hair trigger was a mistake. <coughs> Who is it? Uh, Blink, you're coughing, are you sick? What's going on in here? I was just, um, making toast, but I burnt it. <laughs> Remind me never to let you cook for me. Hey, I almost didn't recognize you without the getup. Actually, that's what I came by to talk to you about. I promise the, uh, play won't interfere with any more of our dates. That is, if you still want to go out with me. Pick you up tomorrow at 8? <laughs> you really are too good to be true.
to take out the enemy, one must begin to think like the enemy. Hmm. Looks like my fave mall is the crew, my fave eatery is the veg out, and my fave movie of all time is 10 things I love about you but still want to change. Operation Spy Elimination is now in effect. <laughs> mad for long with Blaney's smiling face watching over me. Time to tell my dreamy dude all about our dreamy wedding. Rise and shine! Did my V-Ball Venus sleep well? Only because I dreamt about you, the cutest co-ed ever. I had a dream about you too! We have so much in common, we even dream alike. That's because we're made for each other, Pokey. Mwah. Wait to see you. Want to meet for lunch? Definitely. I'll be the guy at the picnic table who only has eyes for you. Mwah. Later, bestest boyfriend ever. <laughs> What's the matter, Clover? Did you see a spider? Break a nail? Find new split ends? No, no, and no. The reason I'm so blissed is because Blaine is the one. The one what? <laughs> The one I like even more than my designer shoe collection. The one I'm going to marry. <laughs> marry? But you've only known him for like a week. And you've only gone on like three dates. What can I say? I'm head over heels in love. Good morning, spies. Lovely day we're having. I didn't think my alarm clock could get any more annoying till now. Whatever it is, dear, can't it wait till after breakfast? Uh, please accept my sincerest apologies, but unfortunately, it can't. Some apology! Jer really has to learn to respect girl time! Hello, ladies. You know, Jer, if you hadn't performed such a lovely skydiving wedding, I'd be seriously mad at you right now. Uh, okay. We've just received a hot tip about a crime that's about to occur. Morat, a notorious criminal who's eluded Whoop for years, is going to strike Beverly Hills. Ah! Ah! Not the groove! I'm afraid so. Morat is planning to burrow his way into area shopping centers so he can loot their contents. You mean he'll have, like, first pick of all the hot new colors and sizes? And no annoying lines? <sighs> so awesome. Need I remind you that this is, in fact, illegal behavior. You'll need the heat sensor motion detector sunglasses with binocular function, the earring microphone communicators, the hairpin lock pick, and the mousetrap lunchbox. Oh, I had one just like this when I was a kid. Careful, it has a hair trigger. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day when Jer would sanction a midday trip to the mall. This job just got a whole lot better. Happy shopping! Thanks, Jer! <laughs> Clover, we're kind of on a mission here. Can you read mags on your own time? You don't read Bodacious Bride, you just flip through the pictures. Okay, then how about this? You're way too young to get married! Duh! That's why it's called dreaming. A girl can never be too prepared. Either that's the mole rat or there's a freaky new fashion trend. That guy seriously needs a life. And a flea bath. See, that's what happens when you don't plan ahead. You become a single weird guy in a rat suit. be the bait while you swoop in and trap the rat. I just love a foolproof plan. Target spotted, moving in. <laughs> Any sign of the rodent yet? Yes, the mall rat is surfacing near clogs, clogs, clogs. 
box. Be right there, Sammy. Apparently, the mall rat's bad taste also extends to footwear. Oh. Ah! Clover, are you okay? Yeah. I'm fine, except for the part where I'm being attacked. <laughs> Sorry, girls, but the mall doesn't open until 10. <laughs> There's a plan B? Ha! You think some overpriced cashmere is gonna stop me? Once you try the best, you forget the rest. <gasps> and Clover said pashminas were out of style. Pink really brings out the sewer in your eyes. Hello? Anytime you want to untie me. Um... Ow, 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 oh no! Clover, are you hurt? Ah, we're like sore from sitting on this. What is it? It looks like some kind of tracking device. But there's one person who'll know for sure. Hello, girls. I trust the mall rat has been successfully detained. Yeah, but his mysterious henchman tried to spy out Clover, then got away. Well, that's odd. As far as I know, the mall rat always works alone. <laughs> But I'm fine now. Thanks for asking. The henchman left behind one clue. Only problem is we have no idea what it is. Send it in for analysis, then return to school. In the meantime, I'll send in some agents to pick up the mall rat. The food court opens in 15 minutes. Want to grab some brunch? Sorry, but I promised to meet Blaine. <sighs> At least there's one person who'll be glad I'm all right. Mm. Darn, there doesn't seem to be any room for Jared at the head table. Hmm. Huh. No biggie. After the wedding, he can sit in the kitchen with the bus boys. <gasps> oh! Blaney! Over here! <gasps> hey, beautiful! I brought all your faves. Brie and apple on organic flax, pasta salad, hold the celery, sparkling oh. apple juice, and chocolate mousse for dessert. Thanks. But how did you know these are all my current must-haves? What can I say? I like to make sure my girl's happy. You've got a stain on your V-Ball shirt. Here, let me. Uh, speaking of V-Ball, with playoffs next month, Coach scheduled a last-minute practice, so I can't stay. Oh. Okay. I should be done by 8. How does the sunset stroll on the beach sound? It sounds perfect, just like you. you girls involved in academic pursuits? <laughs> Wish I could say it's nice to see you, too. Yeah! Haven't you ever heard of a little thing called privacy? Sorry to disturb you, but the results of the analysis just came in. The device you found is a pocket pump for volleyballs. It's actually quite a handy little thing. Uh, that's great, Jared, but how does it help us ID the henchmen? Thanks to the little MU insignia, I've been able to determine the pocket pumps are standard issue to each member of the Malibu Beach Volleyball Team. <gasps> Wait! Did you just say Mally U Beach Volleyball Team? You don't think Blaine was somehow involved in attacking Clover? It's impossible to say for sure, but better to be safe than sorry. In that case, Clover needs to be alerted ASAP. Let's go. <laughs> oh! Clover, are we ever glad to see you? That doesn't mean you have to plow me down in the middle of campus. Jerry just called. You know that little device we found? Turns out it's a pocket pump for volleyballs. Huh? Their standard issue for the Malibu Beach Volleyball Team? Hmm. You know, Blaine's Beach Volleyball Team? <laughs> Hello! Since when is Blaine the only guy to go to the mall? Maybe it fell out of my stuff. I do spend a lot of time with my future hubby. <laughs> well, that's just it. Even though you spend a lot of time with Blaine, what do you really know about him? 
enough to know that Blaine would never hurt me in a million years? Ah! Ah! Guess the picnic was Blaine's idea, huh? I thought when Blaine said he wanted to take me out, he meant on a date! <laughs> Looks like you'll have to put those wedding plans on hold. Whoa! This totally explains the stain on his shirt. It was picante sauce. <laughs> and to think I just picked out our china pattern. <laughs> Time for a little background check on your boyfriend, Batty. Forget Whoop. I've got a better idea. Let's go right to the source. With all the super rad designers in SoCal, you'd think someone would design a better uniform. Let's just get in and out before Blaine gets back. said that. Ow! Girls, something tells me we're not at Mally U anymore. Whoa! There's nothing innocent about this! Hmm. Ew! Gross! Creepy soccer much? Blake's been watching our every spy move with a periscope. Since he knows all about us, it's only fair we learn all about him. Confirms it. Blaine is a freelance spy sent to eliminate Clover. I can't believe it. I know. Having an assassin boyfriend is a total bummer. Not that. He totally got my fave movie of all time wrong. Ten things I love about you but still want to change is my third fave at best. Don't worry, Clover. Together we'll beat that lying, cheating, no good spy boyfriend at his own game. I hardly think this is the time to set Blaine up with Mandy, Sam. <laughs> oh, you don't mean that kind of revenge. Oh no, Blaine's home! Come on! Luckily, I know just the place to get back at him. If we want to hoodwink Blaine into believing we're none the wiser, you have to act natural. Just relax, okay? Hmm. Here goes nothing. Hi, Blaine. <laughs> I mean, Blaney. How was practice? Lover? I wasn't expecting to hear from you again. Hmm. I mean, uh, not before our sunset stroll on the beach. That's actually what I was calling about. Are we still on for eight? Wouldn't miss it for the world, Pokey. I can't believe I fell for such a two-way spy jerk! I'll try to look on the bright side. What bright side? Think of all the time you'll save not planning the wedding. <laughs> I'll wait over there for my no-good boyfriend while you two hide behind those sand dunes. Lane won't know what hit him. Totally! I just love a good sneak attack. That makes two of us. If there's one thing I hate about coming to the beach, it's the sand fleas. Spiders aren't much fun either. <laughs> Nope. 
better, I'd think you were trying to sneak up on me. Only so I could give you a big hug, beautiful. Oh, I've missed you so much. So, how was your day? My day? Well, let's see. I got up, worked out, almost got taken out by my lunch, then discovered you're the one that tried to blow me up. Don't worry. The bad day's almost over. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you heard? A good boyfriend is hard to nab. When you see one, let me know. <laughs> <gasps> you brought supper? Your last supper, that is. <laughs> it's a shame someone as cute as you could be such a bad person. And it's a shame someone as cute as you could be such a bad boyfriend. <laughs> Impressive moves. They teach you that at evil spy school. You would know. You obviously graduated top of your class. Huh? I can't believe Blaine thinks Clover's an evil spy. Which means he also thinks we're evil spies. Time to call Jer. <laughs> when we get out of this, we really need to get the name of Blaine's gadget supplier. Yeah, they totally rock! <laughs> Sunshine, the cheesecake's a little heavy on the cream. Careful, Peanut. The Appies have toothpicks. <laughs> you keep calling me the baddie, but you're the one who's been stalking me this whole time. And so far this month, you've stolen a weapon of world destruction, robbed a bank, and tried to break into the mall. Wait, you think I had something to do with those? If the crime fits. <laughs> Haven't you ever heard of innocent until proven guilty? Jerry, as you can see, we kind of need your help. Oh my, I'm on my way. How can someone so cute be so wrong for me? super advanced as yours, but they get the job done. Is there any way you could erase Blaine's memory so we could still, you know, be a couple? Clover? What? It's a shame to let all my plans go to waste. <clears throat> Perhaps you won't have to. After a little sleuthing of my own, it appears that Blaine is actually an agent for good. Uh, sure didn't feel that way when he was pelting me with tuna casserole. And so is Clover. Oh, right. You can't speak. Here, allow me. Phew. But I don't understand. I was hired to off a baddie. I'm afraid Clover isn't the villain your anonymous employer made her out to be. How did you know about my employer? Even I don't know who it is. Hello? World Organization of Human Protection, much? They know everything. I'm sorry I put you through all this, but I thought you were totally evil. I'll forgive you, on one condition. Anything, just name it. Hmm. We officially get back together. There's still a little matter of figuring out who set Blaine up and who tried to take out Clover. After the sunset stroll on the beach. 
but, but... Don't ruin the romantic moment. <laughs> <laughs>